Nebulization. What is nebulization? You hear this term commonly. Many times your pediatrician may recommend to give your child nebulization. So nebulization is given through a machine with a mask and a nebulizer set attached. In that the medicine is put and once you switch it on, the nebulizer uh, produces the medicine in sort of vapor form and which goes inside your child's lungs and in the respiratory system and relieves the symptoms. So why is it prescribed? The most common reason for prescribing nebulization is if your child has wheezing or your child has past history of wheezing, is a patient of asthma and develops severe cough, then we usually prescribe nebulization, especially in younger children, infants, children below two years or below five years, they tend to take nebulization more easily. It may also be prescribed in cases of pneumonia. Sometimes it may be prescribed if your child has a very bad cough which is not responding. So in these cases, we prescribe nebulization. Now there are a lot of myths about nebulization and parents feel as if what has been prescribed to the child. So firstly, nebulization is safer than your cough syrup. So many times when I tell parents give nebulization, they will be like, can't you try with the syrup? Syrups have many, many more side effects as compared to nebulization. In nebulizer, we usually use levosalbutamol or salbutamol. They can cause a bit of, uh, you know, the child's heartbeat to be a bit faster. They can cause a little bit tremor sometimes, but they are predominantly safe. Your cough syrups not only have salbutamol, levosalbutamol, they have many other components which can be much more harmful for your child can have many more side effects. In fact, in children below five years, cough syrups should be avoided as far as possible. The second common myth that we hear is once you give nebulization, the child's lungs become weak and uh, the child will be dependent on nebulization. Absolutely rubbish. The nebulizer medicines will just go and act on your lung receptors at that time it is not going to make them weak at any case and if your child is requiring repeated nebulization it is because your child has an inherent uh, you know tendency for wheezing or allergy or asthma it is not because we gave nebulizer Lastly, people feel it's addictive. No, please, just because it is coming out as fumes, it doesn't mean it is like some kind of drug and your child will get addicted to it. And I always tell my parents, uh, the parents of the children, that we had to give nebulization or sometimes when we have to give inhaler because your child has a problem. Because we gave nebulization, that didn't create the problem. So please, if your pediatrician is recommending a nebulization, go for it rather than going for these extremely high combination cough syrups which have many, many more side effects. Nebulizations are very safe because they go directly into the lungs. They're not going into your body, getting absorbed, going everywhere in the bloodstream and then acting on the lungs. Even butycot nebulization or other steroid nebulizations which are given they are not like the oral steroids which you people hear about it's a negligible dose which just goes in the lungs and acts so don't worry about that